Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how to set Windows 11 taskbar icons to never combine. So as you all know in the previous versions of the Windows like 10, 8 and 7 they all had the feature of never to combine in the taskbar settings which you could have logged by going to taskbar settings. So over there you would have seen a setting called combine always never or sometimes something like that but in the Windows 11 they have completely removed this feature. So in today's video I'm going to show you two applications from whom you can actually get the exact feature which you once had in the previous version of the Windows and the download links for the application will be in the description box. So moving on the first application we are going to see is Stardog. So as you can see it's a price based application meaning you have to purchase the application if you want to use it for a longer period of time but in the starting to pack you will have a 30 day trial period so just simply click on try free or for 30 days then it will start downloading so after downloading is completed just simply go to the location where you saved it just simply install the application like any normal setup just by clicking on agree then next then choose the location and then just simply install the application so as you can see it already changed down here and all the tabs are now separated and they are not combined as they were before. So after the application is installed it will ask you to reboot your system you just simply click on no and after that when the application is finally opened you will be given a pop-up in which you will have an option sign up for 30 day trial then just simply click on that and verify your email. After that when you come to the application just simply choose windows 11 style down here the next step is go to taskbar and over there enable this option then just simply choose never and as you can see it changed and the icon is now set to never combine. So this is how you can do it on this particular software and there are many more configurations that you can still do in this application like start button you can configure it just by enabling this option you can make a custom start button just by choosing any one of them or you can make a transparent taskbar just by going over here and making some changes over here you can also change the position of the taskbar from right over here and many more options like taskbar size and etc so if you want a detailed video on this application just simply put up a comment and we will make it for you for this tutorial that's it for this particular application now let's move on to the other application but make sure to uninstall this particular application before installing the other application which i'm going to show you in a bit so for uninstalling this application what you have to do is just simply close it from here then open your start menu and search control panel then choose control panel then go to uninstall a program so if you don't have this particular view in your control panel what you have to do is just simply go to view by and choose category then go to uninstall a program then just simply click on start doc start 11 and after clicking that just simply press uninstall then press yes then just uninstall it and make sure to check this box which says remove settings and then just simply next And then it will open up a window for asking you a feedback why did you cancel the subscription or why did you uninstall just simply close the tab now just simply press finish over here and you will be done with the application but if you get a pop-up like this just simply press no now if you're wondering why the taskbar have changed the position you can fix this by just simply going to taskbar setting by right clicking on the taskbar then taskbar setting taskbar behavior taskbar alignment then click on the drop down and click center it will back to normal so now let's move on to the second application. So like the first one, you will also find the link for the second one as well in the description box. And as of this moment, the current version for this particular application is 3.5.6. So just simply install this. So just simply click on download and choose the location then save. Then it's a very small application. So it will be downloaded within seconds. After the downloading process is completed, just simply open the application. Then it will ask you for whom do you want to install for me or everyone you can choose everyone if you want but for me i will just simply choose for me then in few seconds the application will install into your system so after the installation is complete the first thing that you have to choose is proper windows 11 so just simply choose that then go to the taskbar setting over here and in the combined taskbar button over here just simply click on the drop down and choose never then if you want to center all of your icons just simply check the center task icon over here and it will center all of the icons. you will have multiple options in this application like dynamic transparency which will make a complete transparent taskbar or if you want to change the size of the taskbar you can also do this from this particular setting and if you want to make the taskbar in segments you can also do that from right over here and if you want to change the taskbar start icon you can also change from over here 
or just simply go to start menu and you will have more options over here but there are many settings that cannot be covered in this video so we will make a, another video on this application in the future so that's it that's the two software that you can use to enable icons never to combine in taskbar in windows 11 and if you want to uninstall all the settings that you just now made what you have to do just simply go to control panel by going to the search then search control panel then open the control panel then go to uninstall a program then just simply choose the application and then uninstall and make sure to check this box which says delete settings and license data then press yes and it will go back to your default settings so that's it thank you for watching do like and subscribe to my channel and take care